In this section, we're going to talk about adding in parameter mappings. The idea of a parameter map is that we are able to map already created or defined parameters that we defined ourselves. Good examples of these might be identifiers that we created for ourselves for us to use as an organization. We can have the Kobe parameters be built or generated using those parameters that we've already created. For example here, I'm going to zoom into one of my doors. Here I'm going to be clicking on my door and I have a parameter here called sample designation parameter. This is the parameter that I'm going to be using to specify what kind of door this actually is that I am wanting to map to a particular Kobe parameter. In order for this mapping to take place, I need to come up here to BIM interoperability tools, the Kobe extension panel, and look for setup project. Here, if I look all the way down, I have parameter mappings. Here, what I can do is look for the appropriate Kobe information or the Kobe parameter that I want to have populated with that new parameter that I created myself. So for this example, I'm going to be looking for my component and here I'm going to be looking for Kobe, sorry, component serial number. Here, if I don't want the serial number to be this parameter here, I can simply come over here and map it to an appropriate parameter. A dialog box will appear and I can scroll down until I see my appropriate parameter. There's my sample designation parameter and I can click on OK. Now, whatever I type here in the sample designation parameter will be filled in for my component serial number. When mapping for components and types, that parameter mapping applies to all the elements in your model. So you need to make sure that parameter is added in the project to all the categories that you're hoping to export. Of course, I can add in other parameters if I need to. I can also reorder them as I need to, and I can also reset this to default. You can also click the little parameter mapping button to change that line to a static piece of text to export and not just a parameter value. When I am finished, I can click on save and close. And then after a brief moment, it will update those maps.